Hey everyone, how are you doing today? It's Coach Jeff from CrossFit Sees the Day. Uh, the workout we have for you today is going to be one long running clock. Uh, the workout's going to take uh, about 20 to 24 minutes, uh, depending on if you're doing it uh, solo or partnering up with somebody and sharing the equipment. So we have four rounds of work. There's two four minute AMRAPs, and then there's two three minute AMRAPs. Each of the workouts has a two minute recovery period in between each. So the first four minute AMRAP, eight alternating clean and jerks with a dumbbell from the hang, paired with eight knees to chest or eight to toes to bar. So eight clean and jerks, alternating with a dumbbell, eight toes to bar, eight knees to chest, whichever movement uh, you are better at. Rest two minutes, we're gonna go to eight alternating dumbbell snatches paired with eight tuck crunches. So eight and eight, four minutes, as many rounds as you can do. Two minute rest. We're gonna decrease the work period from four minutes to three minutes. And now we're at a three minute AMRAP. We're gonna decrease the reps also to keep the speed going to six. So six alternating clean and jerks, six toes to bar, knees to chest. So we're repeating that first workout. We're gonna rest for two minutes. We're gonna do the same thing with the second workout, which was alternating dumbbell snatches and tuck crunches. Uh, three minute AMRAP, six and six. So the goal here is to really keep the turnover fast to use good mechanics to keep the dumbbell movement uh, moving quickly, uh, alternating arms efficiently so we're not fumbling around with the dumbbell, and uh, hitting those core movements hopefully in long unbroken sets, okay? So let's get warmed up for the workout. Uh, we're gonna go ground to sky for about a minute. So basically just take a slightly wider than your normal stance. Think about reaching down, touching the floor slightly behind your stance, reach up, open those hips, touch the sky behind you. Do that for about a minute. As you proceed through that minute, you should find yourself being able to get your hands flusher to the floor, be able to reach the uh, ceiling of the sky further behind you as you get looser. From there, we're gonna go into a twisting Spider-Man stretch. So that's a Spider-Man where we take the arm that's on the same type side as the leg that's forward, we reach it under and try to touch the elbow to the opposite ankle, and then we rotate up and we do a triangle pose. I'm going to take this arm, I'm going to reach it under, getting into that hip. I'm going to turn my torso and come up. So we're going to do that for about 30 to 45 seconds on each side. Once again, each time you should be able to get a little further into the expression of that stretch. Uh, from there, let's do some tuck crunches. Uh, so a tuck crunch, we're looking at a long body. Toes are pointed, arms are extended. We're going to bring the knees to the chest and simultaneously bring the chest towards the knees. We're going to press the palms into the floor. Everything comes apart and together in unison. We're really looking to use the core muscles to bring the hips closer and to bring the chest up, finish with the palms press, pressing into the floor. So do about 10 to 15 of those. Uh, make sure you're keeping the belly pressing down into the floor. Make sure the lower back is not leaving the floor. We're not throwing the body up in there. We want to make sure we're staying grounded. Okay. From there, let's warm up the dumbbell movement. So we said we have an alternating clean and jerk from the hang, plus we have an alternating dumbbell snatch from the hang. So we want to start that weight inside the thigh. We want to make sure it's shoulder blade is back. In the clean and jerk, we're going to catch and drive. We're going to alternate hands. So do about five on each arm. I would suggest starting light and working your way up to the weight for this workout. Uh, the RX is 50 for the men, 35 for the women, but definitely scale the weight if you need to, to move quickly, because we're really looking for volume in this workout. We're looking for you to really say, attack the reps for the four minute sets and the three minute sets, which means you really can't take too many breaks. So once you do a set of clean and jerks with the lighter weight, do the same thing from the hang with your snatch, making sure that you're getting under the dumbbell. So sets of five per arm, start with something lighter than you anticipate using, work your way up to the weight you're going to do.
that should get you ready, plenty warm for this workout. Okay, from there, last thing to warm up, knees to chest, excuse me, knees to chest or toes to bar. Let's say two sets of five reps. Uh, if you're doing toes to bar, maybe start by doing just a hang and some scap pull-ups, engaging shoulder blades, and then work on uh, getting that nice kipping toes to bar movement. Uh, people doing knees to chest, just make sure we're really pressing down on the bar, engaging the core, again, getting that nice sort of kip going so we're fluid on the bar. Okay, so that'll be the warm up. So remember the workout is four sets, four minute AMRAP, eight alternating clean and jerks, eight toes to bar and knees to chest, rest two minutes, another four minute AMRAP, eight alternating dumbbell snatches, eight tuck crunches, rest two minutes, three minute workout, back to alternating clean and jerks and toes to bar and knees to chest, just six reps, another three minute workout after another two minute rest, Six more snatches, six more tuck crunches, and wrap of that. That's your workout, okay? Uh, if you are going to do this workout with a partner, or let's say you only have one pull-up bar available to you, uh, you can start uh, after the person before you finishes, and, and you should be able to share some equipment if you need to, okay? All right, so have a good workout. This one should be pretty tiring. Uh, the two-minute rest should give you enough time to go attack the next set, but uh, everything is gonna wear down on you a little, so really work on technique, staying tight, uh, and you should do fine. All right, so have a great day. Let us know how you did in the workout. You can hashtag us at CFSD Strong, and we'll catch up with you next time.